Good morning, friends. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about eight advantages of putting your solar panels on a ground mount versus putting them on the roof of your house. Let's talk about it. Friends, obviously, if there are a lot of advantages putting your solar panels on the ground, then why even put them on the roof? Now, I do have to say this. If it is your only choice for energy independence, put them on the roof. That's totally fine. Whatever you can do to be energy independent or to help you in an emergency, do it. Okay, first advantage. Ground mounts are simply more efficient. Why is that? Because they have airflow underneath the panels. And that airflow is going to help dissipate heat. And they generate a lot of heat on the backside. So you're lowering the temperature of the panel, which makes it more efficient because the more these heat up, the less efficient they are. And in addition to that, if you have bifacial panels like this, if they are set off the roof by just a few inches, you are not going to get any gain. So you really can't use bifacials on a roof. When a panel is sitting that close to your roof, it is going to generate an immense amount of heat behind it. What that will do too, it's really, really going to heat up inside of your attic. Another advantage arises if you need to clean your panels. So this offers a much safer way to clean them because you are not climbing up on your roof. Now in some places you really don't need to clean panels that much, but in the springtime here in East Texas in the piney woods, there is enough yellow pollen on here to really make a difference in the solar gain on these panels. So being able to be down here with them and clean them off quickly is a huge advantage. Now let me talk about some disadvantages for putting panels on your roof, which translate obviously to being advantages for ground mounts. Number one, as an architect, that's my profession, I do not recommend more than just a few roof penetrations. I don't want panels on my roof because I don't want 400 holes in my roof. You've heard me say that before, but it is a real concern. You could have the best installer available, but still, there is a chance when you poke that many holes in your roof that you're going to get several leaks. But again, if that's all you have, then do it. However, I've seen so many successful backyard suburban ground mount systems that I think everyone could do that. It's going to be dependent on where you live and some shading issues, but you can figure it out. Another disadvantage of having them on the roof is when you need to change your roofing, you have to take the panels off. You have to have a separate solar company come and take the panels off, take all the mounts off, the roofing company come out, re-roof the roof, and then the solar company come back out again and reinstall the panels. It can get expensive. I've even had comments here recently on the channel on some other solar videos of mine about people who've had bad experiences with that. They had the solar company out, they removed the panels, they replaced the roof, and then the solar company would not return. And months and months and months went by with no communication from the solar company and those solar panels just sitting there not doing any good. Another disadvantage of putting panels on your roof is you might not have enough roof space to be able to accommodate the number of panels you need for your system. Our small modest home here probably would accommodate it. However, we get a lot of shading from midday on from those trees over there. It never really once entered my mind to put panels on my roof anyway. Yes, we are blessed with a decent amount of land. However, like I said, I've seen so many successful ground mount projects in suburban areas. And yet another disadvantage of putting them on the roof is there is a fire hazard. If you get a lightning strike on a panel or you get a short circuit on a panel, then it could cause a fire. Out here in the middle of the property, it's not gonna really do any damage. If it's on your roof, you could have a serious problem on your hands. And that's why roof mount systems require extra equipment, and that's another disadvantage. They require equipment like rapid shutdown systems. All of the extras can add up. And as I mentioned earlier, kind of a bonus advantage of having them on the ground is if you need to clean them, you don't need to climb up on the roof, which can be dangerous depending on the roof type. So less time on the roof cleaning panels, if you're not used to being on a roof, 
is a positive. And friends, I didn't mention it because I live in Texas, but if you live in an area that gets a lot of snow, essentially it's the same as cleaning. You need to get that snow off the panels. And if they are on the roof, that is much more of a challenge than if they are on a ground mount. So friends, there's a lot of different ground mount options, different equipment for different size arrays. This is an EG4 bright mount. That is a power solar frame. And over there by the kids playset, that's an Integra rack. And I've also built my own. I have a ton of different videos on these racking systems. And I even recently did a video comparing costs between all of my racking systems. So make sure you click on the links at the top of the screen when they pop up to see those videos. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which is our installation video on that Integra rack system. It is absolutely the easiest solar rack I have ever put together. Have a beautiful blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye.